Hey, what's going on guys? Brandon here with Texas Plinking. Got a fun one with the CMMG Banshee in 45. Put a can on there, should be a good time. Before we get into it, quick thanks to our sponsor, longtime sponsor, very appreciative for Sonoran Desert Institute or SDI. I'll put a link in the description to check them out. But it's your place to get some courses on anything gun related, whether it's firearm repair, gunsmithing, shooting sports management, ballistics, and many other kind of things. So go ahead, check the link in the description. Again, get certifications. They have several different funding options as well. So you can make a career as a subject of shooting. Pretty darn sweet. So again, thanks SDI, Sonoran Desert Institute, for sponsoring this video. Now let's go ahead and get into it. So this is, you may recognize it, a CMMG Banshee. CMMG is a manufacturer that make really, really cool guns. Their Banshee lineup is either SBRs or pistol configurations, all kinds of calibers. Then they have Resolutes, which are the carbines, and then the Endeavors for long range. I love all of them, but I really, really love the Banshee series. Something about a condensed AR form factor that takes Glock mags of 9mm, 45, 10 mil, all that stuff. This one right here is in 45 ACP. And the reason that's so cool, the majority of 45 ACP is already naturally subsonic. You don't have to source subsonic ammo, but it's still like a 230 grain pill, which is cool. So we're gonna really optimize this, I would assume, once we go suppressed, we're gonna see what that's all about. But I'm going to try it unsuppressed initially as well, because for one, the condensed form factor is just way, way cool. It's got the rip brace. If you want to put a different trigger, which I might do later, it's a all AR ergonomics, like I said, ambidextrous. This 300 series has ambi um, everything, uh, which is pretty cool. Also in the 300 series, you get a Cerakote. This one right here is sniper gray. I hope it doesn't come off black on camera. You can kind of see the contrast. Sniper gray is very, very pretty. New for CMMG, they have a sub line of products called Zeroed. So they have these cool linear uh, compensators as well as flash hiders. This right here is the compensator. Very, very compact, as you can see. Uh, it almost looks like the CMMG logo in there. I'll probably try to get some B-roll later. A lot of ported holes here. So we're gonna do 15 rounds real quickly. I got it in my pocket of unsuppressed. See what it's all about. And then I've got my rugged obsidian 45 with all the baffles. Good old Banshee, man. Very controllable, very easy to just point, pretty minimal weight. Very, very cool. I'm just curious how it changes form once we go suppress. So let's see how that goes. But if you guys are interested, uh, they have 556 and all kinds of calibers and thread pitches for their new comps, so pretty neat. But let's go ahead and put a can on this bad boy. That's a pretty cool look. Not that the can's on there. Very, very cool look, actually. Let's go steal just so I have something to hit, and then we're gonna just go into the dirt just so we can understand what sound we're kind of dealing with here. Yeah, by far the loudest thing to me right now is that steel. So let's just go right into the rocks. Hey, that ain't too bad. I think the action sound already is not too quiet. I think a lot of blast is coming from there. How's it to you, actually? That sounds good to me over here. Yeah, I think as the shooter, I'm probably gonna be the loudest. I think if you're ahead, side of me, or whatever, it's fine. I think there's a pretty good amount of pop coming from the from the uh, port. Is that a thing? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. Still, I mean, I could rapid fire it. I'm pretty good. Went ahead and put a little bit of ultrasonic gel in here. Let's see, to my ear, if it quiets it down anymore. So obviously, we're gonna just go for rocks, no steel here. I was way quieter. And it's already getting quite a bit louder. That smells weird. Give you perspective though, just how much louder that is. Like, so think about it this way. When I'm shooting this gun or any gun, it's going through my mic, through your speakers, and it's never gonna absorb a loud decibel. It's never going to project loud decibel. So it's gonna peak. The way you could tell if it's quieter really is just pay attention to the lack of echoing. So when I shoot the steel, well, it's gonna ring for a while, but typically a loud sound of the uh, sound barrier cracking just kind of echoes for a long time. Whereas this right here, is that sound and done. The sound is completely gone by the time you hear the shell hit the ground. If that makes sense. So I could try to project just how quiet it is. It's pretty quiet. Cool thing about the 45, you're shooting an AR ergonomic type gun, but you can shoot your pistol only target. So this challenge target, Texas Star should be a fun one. So let's back up a little bit. I am Jerry.
All right, my buddy Jackson's gonna give it a rip. You know what? It's gonna be interesting to see what it sounds like just standing like just five yards away. Oh yeah, it's quiet. You're pretty fine. It's way louder on the right side, man. It's something it's, about it's that, that port. that gas coming out, yeah. Yep, literally on the right side, it it's quite a bit louder. It's funny, from the left side, it's like a nice little thud, exactly what I would expect it to be. Good enough, you can see that delay there. I like to end it with a little bit of a splash. Very, very cool gun. I like the barrel length, like the condensed form factor. Um, yeah, very, very neat. So there it is, the Banshee in 45 ACP. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys about next week, I assume, for another video that's somewhat along the same line. It is the FNX 45, which is a 45 suppressed handgun. That should be a fun one, little teaser for that right here.